This is Fair TV. I'm Janine Jackson. What's kind of like the devastation of a major city through inadequate flood protection and then withholding emergency aid such that some 2,000 Americans die? If you said a poorly designed website that makes it difficult to sign up for health insurance, congratulations. You have the kind of imagination it takes for a high-level job in corporate media. This Obamacare Katrina meme seems to have started with a November 15th New York Times story. Health laws rollout stumbles draw parallels to Bush's hurricane response. Who's drawing these parallels? The story quoted a Bush White House official who said, the echoes to the fall of 2005 are really eerie. What's really eerie is that reporters took this absurd comparison and ran with it. Can his presidency recover, or is this Obama's political Katrina? The problems with the health care plan have become President Obama's Katrina. Brian Williams put that to his colleague David Gregory. When people start tossing around Katrina comparisons, that's bound to leave a mark. But Gregory didn't think that was quite right. Frankly, I liken this more, Brian, to the Iraq war. So it's not like Katrina, it's more like the invasion of a country searching for non-existent weapons and killing hundreds of thousands of people? Like that, but without the war part or something. Another highlight came from Fox News' Chris Wallace. Katrina was a, was a terrible event. Lord knows you were there. You saw how badly our government responded, but it, it began and it ended within a week. This could affect people's lives for years to come. Wallace should try saying that in New Orleans. Let's say you're a Republican politician, best known for a budget plan that would slash spending on the poor in order to give more tax cuts to the rich. But you really want to be known as a guy with a passion for fighting poverty. Good luck with that image makeover, right? Well, the Washington Post made the job a lot easier for Wisconsin Congressman and one-time Mitt Romney running mate Paul Ryan. Reporter Lori Montgomery asks friends and colleagues of Ryan to comment on his new effort to, in her words, promote kinder, gentler policies to encourage work and upward mobility. When you're not even quoting Ryan's many critics who might have something to say about his real record, you're not really doing journalism anymore. You're doing PR. Montgomery notes that Ryan's interest in poverty dovetails with a larger effort to revamp the GOP. What would help with that larger effort? Well, a story like this one. And finally, earlier this month, CNN aired a documentary called Pandora's Promise, an unabashedly pro-nuclear power film that makes no attempt to balance the perspectives of the industry proponents that they profile. That's fine, of course, but a curious choice for a news outlet like CNN. FAIR and the activist group Roots Action sent a message, along with some 30,000 other people, encouraging CNN to offer some balance in the discussions they were planning around the film. And they did, just barely. The program that followed Pandora's Promise was titled Nuclear Power, The Fallout from Fear, not exactly hiding their point of view. The segment was Pandora director Robert Stone, climate scientist and nuclear advocate James Hansen, and a former plant operator, squaring off against a single nuclear critic, Dale Brick of the NRDC. Sometimes host Anderson Cooper joined in, at one point rebutting the criticism that the film's one-sidedness meant it shortchanged renewable energies. The film clearly says that alternative solutions like uh, solar, mm -hmm. wind, is not a real energy solution. It's never going to be an enough. So he's countering the idea that the film didn't properly discuss how renewables could be the solution by saying, hey, that's what the film said. CNN's response then to the criticism that they were airing a one-sided infomercial for the nuclear power industry was to have a four-on-one discussion about the film. That's not the kind of debate we had in mind or the kind the world needs right now. I'm Janine Jackson. This is Fair TV.